did we get the atomic smash? Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> yo, what is up, knights? Aegis Rick here, back with some more DFO PvE, this time on my Exorcist. Um, it's been a while since I've played this guy again, but then again, uh, you guys never know with the videos. I'm so late on the videos, so I'm sorry. If you guys follow the stream, though, you know what's up. Uh, we've been playing a lot of different alts, actually, a lot of the same alts. I've been playing in Azura multiple times, I've been playing, um, you guys already know about the rogue that uh, I made a while back, and she's almost max level now, so that's good. Um, so this is probably going to be the next character in line to get to max level. Um, so we're currently farming a little bit. We also got another EXP event, which I think I was mentioning in the last uh, uh, EXO video that I was like, damn, I, I wish I capitalized a little bit more on the EXP event, but then they give you another one that's like potentially much better uh, because it gives you four times EXP. Uh, it's called the Just a Box event. So pretty much any character that is in the 55 region which is ghent or higher you get boxes that give you tons of exp so i, I picked up a you know a four times exp uh i guess you could say uh it only lasts for 15 minutes but like a, you know potion that like four times exp so pretty serious uh you guys told me a lot of stuff in the last video so i'm just gonna be doing a couple uh, of those hits um mostly you guys are just telling me i can charge a lot of my skills um I didn't actually know you could charge the spinning cross, so that's something I've been doing. And atomic smash also you can charge up, um, and stuff like even the floor smasher you can charge it up. So pretty much all of your skills can be charged up. Um, so you guys wanted me to do that. I, it wasn't really necessary at the time, but it, it's starting to become more and more necessary uh, when these guys don't die in one hit as often as they did. I mean, most of them still die to you know the gale smash, phoenix hammer, or something. But still, still it's still useful. So. You know, here, here's an Atomic Smash, you can charge it up, get that extra bonus damage. I don't think I actually connected on that forehead. You can also charge Spinning Cross here, and you can also mash. You guys told me you can mash on this. I think I was mashing before, but um, I, I have the the controller set up where I can just hold down the X button, and it counts as mashing, so I don't really like, you know, mashing uh, stuff like that, so... Uh, but yeah, you can see how strong this guy is guys just capitalizing a little bit on the event I'm gonna be doing some speed runs instead of the full clears just because this thing is gonna run out of time So i um, doing some quests in Ghent Oftentimes what happens is because I have express on so often and I don't really care much about the exp by the time I get to Ghent I'm really I mean you could say over leveled I mean this is a region where you know over leveling is totally acceptable just because it kind of is a, uh, a hard region um, by the end of it, you want to get to about, I, I, want, I, I think the level for the special dungeon is level 65 uh, for Mount Heart. So, by the time you finish it, you want to be about 65. But it looks at this rate with all the quests and stuff that they're giving me in the EXP I'm going to get from Ghent. If I keep my express on, I'm probably going to be over leveled a little bit before I get to the special dungeon. Which is not the optimal uh, route, obviously. You, once you unlock the special dungeon, you want to kind of, I mean, the, the strategy is to drop everything you're doing and just farm the special dungeon. I guess that's the most efficient way, but at some point, I'm probably going to have to go back and do the epic quest. So. That's just my uh, rationale on that. I'm going to grab this fool, hit him with a charged up atomic smash, and then charged up with this, and a charged up spinning cross. And I don't know. I still don't really like this skill. I also got a the new skill, uh, the, the star in the sky. I like hitting with the floor smasher first. Then hit him with the star in the sky. I got the TP as well for it, so it, it kind of reduces the time that it's in the air, which is like my main complaint about the skill, uh, is that it takes so much time. Uh, it's a big hit. It, it is one of the strongest hits I have, you know, aside from Atomic Smash and all that. But uh, low-level hits, it, it really is potent. It's just, like I said, it takes a long time, and enemies kind of walk out of range sometimes. So best to use the Floor Smasher first, and then... Um, and then when they're all grouped up, you hit them with the star in the sky, and hopefully they don't run away. So, it's Floor Smasher, one of my favorite skills for, for that purpose. It's nice that, you know, Exo has a skill like the uh, Floor Smasher, to be honest with you. Because, you know, while his moves have really high damage and high AoE, um, or, or decent AoE, I should say, you know, grouping enemies might be a problem. Uh, so, thank God that, that kind of shores that up. And it does some damage as well if you charge it up. So. Bink! get wrecked um, aside from that guys so um, we've been leveling other characters as well uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show them off like for instance my second Azura I may have a couple videos on that but um, the reason for that second Azura let me just explain it's not because I love Azura it's because they're the easiest to level he's gonna actually be a berserker so hopefully I'll be able to show that off once he's a berserker which I'm hoping I can get to 75 before my tickets run out so let's use an atomic smash Ooh, charge it up a bit 
I want to try to charge it up at least when it gets that little shine on it. You see right there, the little shine on the... That's where it actually gets the extra damage, so all your skills will do that. That little shine, bam. That's It's, it's kind of a timing thing. So, I mean, there is some skill involved here, guys. So, you know, you... Bam! Okay, do it then, and that's where you get the ultimate damage. Or the maximum damage, I guess you could say. Um, it doesn't get any stronger than that, so you actually actually have to time that. It's, I think it's the same timing for every one of your skills, so it's not a big deal, but... Bink! Okay, let's hit with the Floor Smasher. Ooh, he just tanked right through it, and then I got cancelled out Star in the Sky. You don't ever want to get cancelled on Exo, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> just because there's so little time between where you, you can get actually cancelled. Look at the Super Armor, man. Oops, I need to lock that skill up, man. Uh oh, there it is, boys. Yeah! And if I had, like, the tortoise or, or whatever his name is, the black tortoise thing, where I can grab him, that would be a perfect time to use it. Did we get the atomic smash? Yeah! <laughs> get smash, dude! Alright, I think we got a couple dungeons since we're, we're just speed running here, guys. But, uh, Exo. Still proving to be, I mean, I'm not able to kill things in the one hit like I was doing in the ice wall region, but I'm still killing them in maybe two hits, you know, two hits, and it's still kind of the same standard combo. If you really wanted to, you probably still could use the Gale Smash into the Phoenix Hammer combo, but you know, mix it up a little bit. I think, I don't know what I got to do for this quest here. Defensive line, I just keep rushing this. Um, don't really have an optimal way to get through Gantt. Most of the time, I'm just purposefully trying to use my FP. And I always mention this, you guys, like, still, I can't believe people are still asking me, hey, what's the best way to level up rate? Because I always mention it, like, in, in videos. I, I must have mentioned it at least 10 times right now, but it's like, the best way to level up, guys, a secret. Use your FP. That's that's all I've ever said. Uh, that's how you get so many max level characters. And if you have Express, that's obviously going to make that a lot easier, so... I'm just, what it, what my purpose here is not to efficiently complete my quest or do any of that. It's just use my FP. I'm, maybe, maybe <laughs> along the way, if like, oh yeah, I got a quest here, then then you can do that as well. But Get out of here, man. Yeah, I really wanted to kill that guy. Okay. <laughs> he was like super dead anyway. Crucifix. Start to get a feel about what skills might be better for situations and stuff. I still don't have that feel, I just wanted to mention that you will get a feel at some point. <laughs> yeah! Man, Floor Smasher actually does some damage. Huh? Not as much as- oh shit, I need to go back and grab that. Uh, not as much as your other skills, but it's just enough to kill these grunt type mobs, which is nice. And that's kind of- that's kind of all you need, right? Uh, just to have just enough damage to kill the grunt mobs. I feel like other classes do that so much better though, you know, Azura is like one of those classes that I feel is kind of hard to do like end game content with unless you gear up a lot but he is like fucking overpowered when it comes to um you know regular mobs and there's a really a, a potent difference so luckily for us this is this is mostly a, a, a percentage based class so there's always room for us to get much 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 stronger and luckily the the weapon that we get from the neo premium contract makes it uh easy while you're leveling up but i can imagine if you didn't really have a good weapon this would actually be a a, a harder class to level than i'm making it seem and I missed, but not really because it's actually an attack right there. And let's finish off with the spinning cross, which I don't really like that much, but he's dead anyway. Get spun on! But, anyway guys, thanks for watching. There was a little bit of Garen action with the spin to win at the end there. But, uh, yeah, Exo probably gonna be the next character I get to 85? I don't know. I can't quote, don't quote me on that. I might get my Berserker higher than this. In fact, he's higher right now, so maybe that's gonna be the character level. But, anyway guys, thanks for watching. That was a little bit of Pexo action, and I will catch you knights <laughs> later. Yeah.